On both sides of the Atlantic, the stars gathered at the Empire Theatre Leicester Square for the Royal Command film performance, a dazzling event in the centre of foggy London. Britain's Jean Kent arrives, closely followed by their charming American visitor, Myrna Loy. Later came John Mills, star of the command film, hurrying after delay by Park. And so, to the moment for which the sightseers had been waiting, the arrival of the royal party. Her Majesty the Queen, in a magnificent crinoline gown, accompanied by Princess Margaret and the Duke of Edinburgh. The first greetings over, the Queen received a gift of orchids made by nine-year-old Bobby Henry. Roses for Princess Margaret were presented by Phyllis Calvert's small daughter in highly spirited fashion. The royal party made their way into the theatre and the command film and stage performance had begun. After the show, the stars of Britain and America were presented to the Queen, Princess Margaret and the Duke, with whom they shared some happy and informal moments. The British actor Michael Dennison chatted with the Queen, as did that popular guest from Hollywood, Alan Ladd. Vivian Lee was her husband, Sir Lawrence Olivier, who had earlier read a special message from the King. The Duke of Edinburgh also met Alan Ladd and found plenty to talk about. Another conversation piece in which Margaret Lockwood and Myrna Loy joined. jokes were shared with Adana Rumney and Jean Simmons. A final word with John Mills and the presentations were over. The command film performance of 1948 had been a heartwarming occasion for all and by giving help to the Cinematograph Trade Benevolent Fund had brought great benefit to a most deserving cause. <laughs>